Hey Dumbies, it's Dave Decide. We need to talk about Jungkook crying and being emotional and people talking about this again. We need to get into the Spotify drama and people believing Jungkook reacted to this. And then we get into Jungkook getting called out. So, hey or not, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. Grab your dumplings, hey Spling Bug merch, and let's get into it. Jungkook was recently name dropped and you won't believe by who. You might actually believe it because it's actually not that shocking. But let me give some backstory here. Jin has been hinting towards the enlistment situation situation for about a month now and a little while ago someone asked him what his plans were for Jin's birthday over on Weavers. I think people assumed that Jin might enlist after that. It was speculated that later he would enlist in mid-December but Jin at that time Jin responded saying that for his birthday Jin will actually be in the front lines and thus not be able to stream or really celebrate. Lucky for Jin it seemed the date was pushed back allowing him to celebrate before enlisting. Jin went on a live stream for his birthday. Please wish Jin a happy birthday in the comments. Jin went ahead and brought some cake to the stream including an alpaca and chocolate heart shaped cake and Jin was blown out the candles for the cake and decided to cut the alpaca cake in a strange way that made everyone laugh. He did not have a knife or anything and apparently did not want to wait for the staff to hand him one. He decided to karate chop the cake and that was just hilarious. Of course everyone laughed. I think everyone was so happy to see Jin do a bunch of cute things and interact with ARMY before he leaves. I think it makes makes us so happy to see that he is not sad and he is doing well. One thing that has been sort of a tradition among BTS's live stream is that another member will crash the party and join the stream even for a little bit. For Jungkook's birthday, Jin made sure to make an appearance and congratulate Jungkook on turning older. Jin bought Jungkook a box of grapes and began sticking them on the cake to make sure Jin eats those. Every cake needs a little fruit, right? And it's such a dad move to do that to make sure the youngins eat their fruit. Jin on the stream happened to call out Jungkook for not making the same appearance on his stream and Jin felt a little sad. However, it's likely Jungkook was busy. He may have been resting or doing a lot of different stuff. Obviously, the boys are very busy and they have their own schedule and stuff. I just want to take a moment to talk about comparisons. Just in general, if we do something for someone and they don't necessarily reciprocate that in the same way, it doesn't mean that they hate you and that is kind of the problem when relationships are public or you listen to too many people's opinions on your relationship. You start to overthink every detail and every movement they do because no doubt if Jin hadn't said this there may still have been comments that would have called this out and then Jin might think well he's my friend. He should have done it when it wasn't a big deal to not do it to begin with. I doubt Jin actually felt any way about it. He just brought it up because it was funny. Jimin did actually appear and he appeared in the comments to wish Jin a happy birthday. This might have been the only way for any of the members to wish Jin a happy birthday birthday just because they are all probably so busy with their own activities. Of course, Jungkook and Jimin being talked about, there is going to be conversation about the two interactions. Interestingly enough, the conversation wasn't about the two dating, but about the two arguing. This happened in the 2020 Festa. This is their type of party where they just sit there and talk and make jokes. They also do this stuff on Bon Voyage and Run BTS. So if you're interested in checking out those and reacting to them with me, I will link it in the Patreon in the description. We have a fun time over there. But during this 2020 fest that Jimin dropped some tea and talked about their biggest fight ever. Maybe in 2015 or 2016, Jimin and Jungkook were in the studio and they were arguing. Jimin never clarified what the argument was about, but said the way that they ended it was that Jimin just told Jungkook to do whatever you want and Jimin walked home. Later, Jungkook called Jimin crying and apologizing and Jimin was like, where are you? And ended up getting a cab and they hugged and made up in the rain. Jimin talked about how Jungkook had cried a lot on that day and it made us curious as to what the argument was about. However, we all have theories on what it could be about as people tend to argue about the same thing and men don't typically change their habits. Jungkook has suggested certain ways of singing or doing things and obviously Jimin would disagree and this would cause arguments. Then we also have moments where Jungkook was just being slightly annoying and interrupting Jimin, which Jimin hates to be interrupted, mainly because seemingly he is the only one that constantly gets interrupted. This could be interpreted that the argument would have have been about maybe Jungkook suggesting a dance move that Jimin thought was ugly and Jungkook insisted and finally Jimin was like do whatever you want and thus they decided to leave and cool off. I find when I'm about to have an argument with someone I'll usually tell them that we can circle back to that conversation later but cool off first and, and it also helps you rethink your thoughts and better articulate your side of the argument because during the heat of the moment you might be saying things that don't really make sense so the other person is obviously thinking you're 
wrong and that your point makes no sense. The other members during the festa talked about how this felt like a couple moment and felt like something that was in a gay drama, especially the rain. I find it funny too that Jimin has argued with other members as well. Of course, the famous dumpling incident. Who can forget that? We do love to hear funny light moments like this as well as it just makes us happy to know that the members have these cute interactions and relatable moments. Who hasn't had a fight with someone they're close to? However, there seems to be real drama under the hill or whatever the saying is, through the hill. It's an ugly hill anyway. Spotify has been under a lot of drama and I was surprised to see just how big everything got. With over a million people tweeting out for Spotify to apologize to Lisa. A million people. And not a single one of them have a brain. Lisa is being treated badly. That's a fact. If you go to her IG or just see tweets, people are sexually harassing her, saying she slept her way to the top. However, this is not Spotify saying Lisa is a bad person and deserves that. This is people who were upset that Lisa got the most streamed and then attacked her after Spotify admitted they had made a mistake, initially awarding it to Jungkook. Other people were saying that Spotify knew what they were doing and purposely gave it to Jungkook only to take it away so Lisa would get hate. And then the same people are saying the only reason Lisa got the award was because she slept her way to the top or that YG paid for the award. Like this all makes no sense. I get why people are saying Lisa won over Jungkook or whoever, but I don't love that term. I think there is no winning or losing here. If you don't win the most streamed, it doesn't mean you're not a successful artist, right? Jungkook is still doing well and neither Lisa or Jungkook probably care about this award. This award does not equal money. The idea that people think that YG would even bother to pay for an award is dumb because y'all forget a company does not, and I repeat, does not care if you are famous. Fame with a label and a company means nothing. A company with money can make anyone famous. Place a billboard here, make a TV appearance, get someone on a TV show, or pay a celebrity to stand next to them. If you have money, you can do all that. However, none of that means success. A label would much rather have an artist that gets 100,000 views but sells 100,000 albums than an artist that gets 10 million views but can barely sell a handful of albums. What does a win the most streamed on Spotify get you. A company cares about money, nothing else. The only reason why a Grammy or those awards would mean anything to a label is because allegedly with a Grammy, the label can charge for a higher pay for artist appearances. So of the other weird theories I was seeing that got people riled up was that if you go into the My Universe on Spotify and left and right, you'll see that BTS and Jungkook's credit removed. This made people mad as if they were included, then Jungkook would have won the award for most stream. However, I don't don't know why people are saying that BTS is not included for the My Universe Spotify page, which just tells me people did not double check anything but are so quick to send hate based on what other people are saying. But if you go to the left and right, you don't see Jungkook there. But I don't know if that was after or before the award was given. Now, of course, I can't sit here and explain to you the reasoning behind why Jungkook is not there for left and right, but it is usually something we don't know and we don't get to know. Not every situation is correlated, and the way the fandom likes to push things together that may not actually go together is so weird to me. There could be some copyright issues, which is why Jungkook was removed or wasn't there. I don't know. People were saying that Jungkook would have been mad to be removed from the credits and thus losing the Spotify award to Lisa because Jungkook talked about how grateful he was when Charlie called him to do the song. But you can still be grateful and love Charlie knowing there's a lot of random stuff happening behind the scenes. The fact that Jungkook is a partial owner of HYBE and would be happy that another HYBE artist artist like Lisa is winning an award, I don't think this is even a problem. Even when Jungkook and BTS members lost the Grammys, they talked about how they weren't really that sad. They were just happy to be there. So let's not create drama when there really isn't any. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.